Workflows in HoneyBook allow you to automate specific steps in the lifecycle of a project. With Workflows, HoneyBook can automatically create a task, send an email, or send certain file types at the cadence of your choice, taking those things off your plate. Before creating a workflow template, make sure that you have all the potential elements of your workflow in place. Click the Tools menu, then Templates. Workflows can utilize email, brochure, and questionnaire templates, so double check that those are ready to roll. When you're ready, head back to the Tools tab and select Workflows. Click Create Workflow, then click the title to edit the name of your workflow template, which makes sure you can easily identify it in the future. Now, select which action you'd like as the first step in the process. Remember that workflows can be as simple as one step, but you can also add as many additional steps as you'd like. For each step, you can choose to create a task or send an email, questionnaire, or brochure. We'll start today's workflow template by sending a questionnaire. First, select the questionnaire template you'd like to send. Then, choose the email template you'd like to accompany that file. Remember that all these templates are being pulled from your master template tool we checked out earlier, and you can always add or edit templates there. Next, choose when you'd like this step to be applied. You can have the action trigger any number of days after activating the workflow, before or after a project date, or for subsequent actions after the previous step is complete. Workflows can be activated automatically via submissions of your contact form or by manually applying them to projects. So for this template, we'll send it out immediately, zero days, after activating the workflow. Now, choose whether you'd like this action to trigger automatically or if you'd like to approve the message before it sends. If you'd rather approve it, you'll see a task appear in the task list for this project on the date that the email is scheduled to send. If you'd like to add more steps, click the plus button and repeat the process of selecting your action, choosing templates, and deciding when the action should trigger. Right now, we'll add an email, set it to go out a week after the previous step is completed, and set it to be approved before it goes out. We'll finish with a step creating a task. Using create a task as an action is a great way to remind yourself to take any steps that aren't specifically addressed in your workflow. So we'll have this task serve as a reminder to give the client a call to check in a month before the project date. When you're ready, make sure to click save. Now you can apply this workflow to any project you'd like.